So one thing I'll do to try to get the temperature as close as possible is float the container. You can see you just have six and a half five because the one perished. But we'll get these as close as possible and then do the water change. So here I can get kind of a little measurement on these guys right off of that. It's 1.5 centimeters right now. So before I move them over, you'll see all that in there is poop. So I get in there and suck out all the stuff first. Now onto the transfer. Some will suck them up in a thing, turkey baster. Kind of don't like doing that. Instead, I'll get them this way. Bring them down in. So then I'll just move them in here. And then we have all these eggs floating around. I'll try to pull them out as much as possible with this. And they seem to be well adjusted to the temperature because they're moving around good. So right now, there's no brine shrimp in there. The old water, I'll just dump it out. Uh, clean that container. Clean that container for the next go around. Rinse it out. Dechlorinated water. Wipe it out. Really good. Now it's ready for the next one. separated this brine. You can see the eggs are floating. The red portion is the living brine shrimp. So I'll go down in there and get them. So it's not very much, but I'll try to concentrate it exactly where these guys are at. So they'll start eating right away. There, a few eggs, not that many. Then I'll kind of zoom in to make sure, make sure they're eating. Make sure there are living brine shrimp in there. And they're eating. I've got them separated to five. When they grow legs, I'll have to separate them for one. Okay, so now we're on to the next batch. They're active, they're running around in here. Yeah, it's not as dirty as the last one, but there's still poop floating around. You can see it there. It's a good sign, they're eating. poop out. Okay, so now I've cleaned off the scooper again. Sometimes they don't want to come off the bottom. Let's scoop these eggs out. Hopefully not scoop them back out again. That's an example of what they do if the water shocked them. 
apparently it wasn't exactly right. This one is a micro micro worm culture. These little things they just look like webs. They're all webbing. They're on the side. Really hard to see. Sometimes you guys are crawling around. So get these guys. So get a Q-tip. And just kind of gently swab the side here where they've crawled up. There's a bunch that have crawled up. And this stuff is nasty. So now, hopefully, they're all on the Q-tip. Just take that into the water and just kind of spin it. You have to be careful with that one not to get the culture in there because the culture is really nasty. See if I can see them swimming around. Yep. There's the micro worms. Some are a little slower to eat those. But they'll be in there for them. Scared that one away. There we go. Finally ate one. Another thing they will eat is vinegar noodles. See, there's just hundreds of them in there. So that's the same thing with the Q-tip. Just swab those and put them in. guys are set. Eels are much tinier, much harder to see. diet of some micro worms too. Three things to choose from. Oh yeah, they got a little mix of culture in there. What's that? Culture's amazing. Okay, they've all eaten. Give them a break from the bright light. Bonus. Come on, get off there. Most of the eggs out. Uh -huh. That one's got a lot of eggs in it. This one's rich. Probably rich with eggs. Getting down to the bottom of the barrel. There's a 
lot of living ones in there. There's also a lot of eggs. You might wait for those to flip. That's a lot. some gills. Buffet. Scaring the axolotls. What? Said you're scaring the axolotls. Yeah. We've got one more to do, and then I gotta feed. Then I gotta feed all the adults. I said I gotta change one more water, then I gotta feed all the adults. Yep, all of them. All the water's been changed out they all have something to eat and i'll move them into this old aquarium that i have turned into a refrigeration unit with a bottle of ice and fans at the top and i keep the temperature probe in one of the containers to keep an eye on them let's just hope they keep on growing and get to be big strong axolotls <laughs> <laughs> 